Well, welcome to the Boxing Day edition of the AM Sports here on the Joy News channel on Multi TV. My name is Asai Bidiako. There are great games to look forward to in the EPL and Serie A. Late Saturday, fish chairs in the base. But before then, let's talk boxing because another electrifying night is beckoning on boxing. There are two Ghanaian boxers, Obodai Sai and Robert Kui, headline the maiden edition of Don's Promotions Fight Night at the Bukum Boxing Arena here in Accra. There's more in this report. Obudai Sai, now nicknamed the Miracle Python, will face South Africa's Franz Ramabolu for the vacant WBO Africa middleweight title, while Robert the Stopper Kwe slacks it out with Vincent Imbellini of Tanzania for the vacant WBO Africa Junior Waterweight belt. With his record of 34 wins and 3 losses, Obudai Sai is picking up the pieces from a disappointing loss last year to Walter Kanto Donka and has since recorded two straight technical knockout wins. Sai is returning to a place he has previously Previously been as he annexed the same belt in 2016 after defeating Idrissa Kabori of Burkina Faso via a technical knockout. He defended the title six months later against Ibrahim Tamba of Tanzania, whom he defeated by a unanimous decision. And Franz Ramabolu, who is the best middleweight boxer in his native South Africa, the orthodox boxer, will bring a big test. Ramabolu will look forward to causing an upset in Ghana, similar to what Walter Kanto Donka did. Robert the Stopper Kwe will face Tanzania's Vincent Imbellini in the night's other bout. Kwe's confidence is drawn from his performance in his last bout against compatriot Patrick Alute in what was a heated grudge bout. However, Imbellini could prove a tough customer considering he has lost only once in 14 fights. Out of the wins, five are knockouts with three draws. Imbellini, who is 29, will rest on his durability and conditioning to pop some surprises during the 12 round bouts. Ni Yaboy Anan is chief executive officer of Don's Promotions, organizers of the Battle of the Titans. If you see the quality of boxes we have put together and you think this is the end, then wait till next March to see what is hitting down. We have the content, we have the boxes, and they have the talent. And I think the only thing we need to do is to have promoters and sponsors that will push that talent, that content, up to the world stage. Wow. And that is what we are aiming to. Today, it's a weigh-in day. We have a middleweight, regional title, and we have the super lightweight title. The undercards are very interesting. And you can pick any particular one out. I think the bill is choked with quality. And I expect the place to be filled up today. Let's have a celebration of this. And for me, at the end of the day, it is boxing that will be the winner. Not any one particular promotion. It is boxing. It is African boxing. It is Ghanaian boxing that we want to put on the map. The Battle of the Titans has five other attractive bouts at the Bukum Boxing Arena on Boxing Day. So all roads lead to the Bukum Boxing Arena. It is the Battle of the Titans. For Boxing Leicester Football, because Liverpool will be looking to preserve their unbeaten run in the English Premier League ahead of this afternoon's game against Newcastle United at Anfield. The Reds have won 15 games and drawn just three. And their manager, Jürgen Klopp, is happy with the current squad. This time last year, Liverpool were preparing to break the world record transfer fee for a defender by signing, Vir signing Virgil van Dijk. So could Klopp be preparing to do any January business next month? No, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with what I've got and what I have. But it's, um, well, how was that? We don't know. That's, that's the only thing, I, the only little bit why I keep the door open. Because if some things happen, then we have, need to have a look. Some, a few more things happen, and we have need to have a look because there are coming um, monstrous numbers of games, and still, and um, that's that's really um, 
important that we always can react. But as long as we can react, it's all good. But how is that? If then um, something will dramatically change, then we have to. Then we need to have a look. That's all. So leaders Liverpool are in action against Newcastle United in the English Premier League. The Reds are unbeaten in the league. So we are going to show you full fixtures of games in the English Premier League. Fulham will play against Wolves, Liverpool versus Newcastle. Man United versus Huddersfield. Leicester City, Man City, that's a big game. Crystal Palace, Cardiff, Tottenham, Bournemouth, Burnley versus Everton. Brighton will play against Arsenal and Watford will play against Chelsea at Vicarage Road. Southampton on Thursday will play against West Ham United. Let's check full fixtures of the Italian Serie A. The big boys are in action. And today, Frosinoni will welcome AC Milan. Atalanta up against Cristiano Ronaldo's Juventus. Fiorentina at Artemio Franchi will play against Parma. Cagliari versus Genoa. Bologna versus Lazio. Sampdoria versus Chievo. And Roma will be at the famous... Stadio Olimpico, they entertain Sassiolo and at the Olimpico Grande Torino. Torino will play against Empoli Spa versus Odinese and at the San Siro, it's Inter Milan versus Napoli. This is obviously the top liner in the Italian Serie A later today. And that's all we've got time for on the Boxing Day edition of Sports here on the AM Show on the Joy News channel on Morty TV. For more sports news, there's only one place to go, the sports page on My Joy Online. You can as well follow us on Twitter. Our handle is Joy Sports GH and on Facebook, you can find us at Joy Sports. My name is Asai Bidiaku. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the Boxing Day.